So guys, if you want to take a close look, just, you know, just take a real close look. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11. If you're new, thank you for coming by. So this is a follow up video from my last one, which was the maximum hydration method. And that turned out superbly. So guys, today I'm gonna to be doing my first wash and go since doing that video. So since doing the maximum hydration method. Now the reason being I'm filming this one is because I want to see if my results from the maximum hydration method have lasted and if my curls are still popping as the first time. So guys, if you wanna take a close look, just, you know, just take a real close look. It's about that time for a wash and go, because, uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna go and wash and deep condition my hair and what have you. I won't show you all that, because you know, it's a bit boring. I'm just gonna show you how I style my hair with the Eco Styler Gel. And today I will be using a leave-in. Um, I didn't initially use a leave-in, which I was asked a question, and I'm glad someone pointed that out, because I didn't want any leave-in to affect the results of how my hair would turn out. So today I will be doing a leave-in, because I just want to add more moisture. What is that? So let me go and do my thing, guys, and I'll come back to you once my hair is washed. Guys, I, I know I said I was gonna wash my hair and then come back to you, but I just wanted to show you whilst I had to shampoo my hair, so, so far, the results are lasting. It's looking good. I just want to show you, with the shampoo in my hair, I've still got major definition. So basically, I've got a little bit of webbing hairs I'm not too fussed about. But if I did do the Cherry Lola in the first place, at the beginning of the hydration, maximum hydration method, then I would, most probably wouldn't have that, but I'm not that fussed. This used to be such a problem area for me. This was, I never used to get clump in here, guys, basically. Nothing, I've never experienced this before in this area, never. So I will come back to you, as I said, I promise this time <laughs> when my hair is completely washed. All right, guys, see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and these are the results after washing my hair. I did use the same deep conditioner, which was Palm Olive Co-Wash, but I used it as a deep conditioner again. But um, if you notice, the definition has gone. Kinda, it's more frizzy. So, I'm hoping I'm still gonna be happy with the results because underneath I've got some definition and some deep conditioner. <laughs> but, I don't know, guys. I'm hoping I'm going to be happy with the results, the end results, so I'm going to go ahead. Man, did I not wash out this deep conditioner? Okay, so I'm going to put all this away. I'm not even going to lie, I'm hoping it's going to be a good wash and go, but we'll see, we'll see. So for my leave-in, I'm going to be using the oldie but goodie Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. Sorry if you can hear drilling, guys. There are workmen next door, and I am still working for you guys. All right, so let me just work it into the ends now. I'm just gonna go and apply this. I'm gonna shingle a little bit where I feel necessary, but because of the clumping and the hair separates nicely, it cuts down my shingling time, so that's cool. So I'm just gonna apply the gel how I usually do. So at the roots. It feels like the roots are getting defined, which is cool. Show you. I feel like I've got nice definition, like little waves. Right, so let me go ahead and apply this gel, guys, and then I'll come back to you once it's applied, and then we'll see the results. Okay, guys, <laughs> so this is what I've got so far. Definition is nice. I'm going to show you the back. You no, know, it's slightly more frizz than last time, but I'm going to show you the back. Let me know what you think. Definition or nah? I don't know. Let me come back to you when it's completely done, guys. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, people, so this is the end result. Um, I feel that it's still got nice definition, but I do feel that it was a bit more frizzy this occasion. It makes me feel like I want to do another clay rinse every time I wash my hair, but I don't think that it's necessarily good for the hair. I don't know. But um, yeah, I like how it's turned out and it look, it does look nice, don't get me wrong, but it was, it took a lot more time to do. And um, yes, yeah, so these are the results. Let me show you the back. 
yeah so i'll be back to you tomorrow morning guys when my hair is fully dried and let me know what you think all right bye Hey guys, so this is the next day and this is my hair completely dried. I've got shrinkage, as you can tell. <laughs> now, this is a wonderfully defined wash and go. As you can see, my curls are popping, the hair is looking juicy, but I do think I didn't get as much definition as I did in my last wash and go, doing the maximum hydration method. What I mean by that is, these parts of my hair usually clump very nice. But the gel cast isn't as prevalent this time around. It's more, it's more soft. It's easier to crunch the gel cast out. And also, at the back here, the clumping wasn't as, uh, wasn't as defined, I guess. The curls separated a bit more, and not separated in clumps. They se the actual clumps separated themselves like this, for instance. I got a bit more frizzing, let's say. But guys, this is a thing. I don't know if this is because this time round I used a leave-in conditioner. The first time I done the maximum hydration method wash and go, I didn't use any leave-in conditioner. I just set my hair with gel after the clay rinse and that was it. I didn't put anything in my hair. This time, um, as you saw, I put the Shea Moisture Style and Curl Milk in my hair. These are the results because obviously it's a layer underneath the gel which has made my hair more soft and in a sense less defined as you can see it wasn't the definition i was going for i wanted to have a good amount of crunch that would last for about at least two three days and then i'd start to crunch out the cast but as you can see it's quite soft some parts are crunchy you hear that <laughs> and then some parts are very soft so yes guys let me go ahead and show you the back Overall guys, my hair is shrunken which shows that it's healthy and yeah, this is the end result. So guys, <laughs> if you liked how this wash and go turned out, after my maximum hydration method, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe and guys, I will see you in the next one.